was hanging a little bit out to the right, trying to draw towards the hole. Well, she did that yesterday too, Karen. Just a little short right on six. But if you're in B Park, you just do that. Notice how I said before it goes in the hole, because yeah. when Inby's putting, it's, it's a safe assumption. Steady. It's just so difficult for these players, or any player, to read, I think, the seventh. I, I'm going to guess that the members have some fits here at the seventh. Doesn't feel too bad on this hole right now. Feels like it's dropped a bit. This hole's been pretty good into the wind all week. Yep. I think it's up there. It's just we're sheltered here. It's going to be a little bit bumpy running through the fringe, but then it should run smoothly on the green. And right line. Straight forward for MB here. Yeah, smooth stroke. Says she was working on her rhythm with the putting. What's been the difference for her? Bit of a risky tee shot to end up below the hole here. Just landed on the front edge and it rolled up. Gives her a good chance here, though. At the early one, I think she gave up on it, didn't she? I, it, looked, it looked like she did not think that ball was going in the hole. Back to 14, that short par four in B Park second. She has 109. This is a wed back into the wind. Right at it. Yeah, if that was adrenaline or what? Yeah. Park finally ready. Yep, in the end it was the right read. Executed that. If she can get one tumbling down this fairway, she might leave herself an opportunity. Still downwind and that will tumble. I'm not so sure that's a gopher, but we shall see. Because she doesn't hit the ball quite as far, she can still get the ball around here quite comfortably. That'll do down the left side. Reaction doesn't always tell the story, does it? She was close enough to those little sprinkle hairs to get relief so she could putt it. Put in the hole. Put in the hole. Tried to turn enough. Strategic with her placements of her tee shot in terms of maximizing the angles. So she gets a little bit more out of her tee shots than, than Heiji has been getting in terms of floods into the green because of those angles. Although this one's more left. Yeah, and that rough, as we saw from Jin Young Ko, is thickened up down there, but it seemed like it was sitting up. Even though there's grass behind it, the ball is actually up in the air. The wind is off the right. If she gets this one turning over to the left, it might kind of help it a bit. This looked like it knuckled, so expect it to chase. You don't want to go too far on that line because you'll end up with some tree trouble with those palm trees, but it's going to be fine. That's the safe place to miss it, short right. Otherwise, it's just danger everywhere. Little down, moving to the left from here. be big for a couple of other players. Heiji Kang being one of them. So if she makes her part, they'll all be tied at seven under par with Minji Lee and Madeline Sagstrom, the tie for third. All about that tempo for her, she says. Yeah. A little firm with the pace there. 